What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not the single guy. Today, we're going to talk about five steps to have the best first date ever, okay? So a lot of guys, when they go out with a girl, they want to make a good impression, especially if you like this person. You want to put your best foot forward and make sure that you have a good time with them so you can continue seeing them or be able to decide if you don't want to continue seeing them. What are the ways to be able to do that? So I'm telling you guys, in my own personal life, I don't really have bad dates. And, and that's a fact. Every single date I go on, I have a good time. And it's because I follow this process. If you find yourself continually going on bad dates and you're not getting along with the person and it's not working out is probably because you're not following this process correctly. If you follow this process correctly, I'm sure all of your dates are going to be a good time. Even if the person you're going with sucks, there's still something fun that, that you can do with that person. Um, we'll talk about how to do that in this video right now. So let's start with step number one. Step number one is going to be proper setup. If you're going to set up a date with somebody, you should set it up correctly. Now, when I say correctly, I mean you know it's going to be or like not no, but you know with a very good probability that it's going to be fun. Meaning the person is going to be fun, what you're doing is going to be fun. I know this because I've planned it out, okay? So I set it up in a way where I know the person that I'm talking to is going to be cool. You know, and the way that you figure this out is you see how they're texting you. You see, you know, when you first talk to them, were they, uh, were they a happy, energetic person, but they positive? You know, what was it like when you first got their phone number? Okay, if it was from a dating app, you know, maybe you can do a, a voice call or a FaceTime call or something like that. Some Sometimes I like to do that. Just have a little bit of a meeting or something where you can get to know the person a little bit before you go on the date. A lot of people think that the date is where you figure out if you like the person and that's somewhat true. But for me personally, I'm not going to waste three to four hours of my life going on a date with someone that I know is not going to be good or I think might not be a good person for me. Okay? I want to know that ahead of time. And usually you can tell within the first five minutes of talking to somebody if there's someone that you want to keep talking to. So to avoid this situation, I pay attention to what they're doing beforehand. If she's not giving you attention with her texting, she's making it very difficult for you to set the date up, she's not asking you questions at all, she's just being really difficult, she's not gonna be fun to have on the date. So if you're getting a lot of those, find someone who is actually giving you their attention and I guarantee you the date's probably gonna be a lot better. So that's proper setup. Step two is going to be make it not a date. Now I know in the title this is a, this is a date, I know I've said date a million times, but try not to frame it as a date. Believe Believe it or not, women don't really like dates. What they like is they like, like a kind of informal setting where you can just kind of hang out and get to know the person. Dates bring a lot of pressure on people. They cause a lot of like expectations and women get very nervous before they go on them, especially when they know the guy might be a little bit awkward, it might be weird, um, you know, and it's just a very uncomfortable situation for them to be in, but an informal setting where they can kind of casually get, get to know each other and do something fun sounds a lot better. It sounds a lot more likely that she's going to have fun on that date and be into the guy who's giving her that experience. So the more you frame it as a date, the less likely it is it's going to be in that category. So what I recommend that you do is just frame it as something more casual, easy, and less formal, okay? The more expectation you put on her, the more likely it is she's going to flake and the less likely it is it's going to be a fun date. Step number three is to have a general plan of what you want to do. I allow a little bit of flexibility, but for the most part, I know what we're going to be doing. And sometimes they'll even ask you, they're going to be like, okay, well, what are we going to do? And you better have an answer for that, okay? Whether it's just you guys, you know, getting some getting some food and then seeing the town around, um, I would have a couple ideas of some things that you can do. If I'm going to plan a date out for a few hours, you know, sitting in one area and talking at a coffee shop for three hours, probably isn't the best thing. If you want to have a coffee date, you know, try and keep it to like, I don't know, uh, less than that, you know, an hour at the, an hour at max. Okay. If you're going to do that. Okay. Maybe probably a little less. But if you're going to go out with somebody, have a few options. You know, if the restaurant you go to is too full, where can you go, uh, you know, in addition to that? My personal favorite isn't eating at a restaurant, although I have done that in the past. It's an activity. You know, maybe you go uh, mini golfing or something like that or do something fun that you both have an interest in, okay? Just having a general plan of what to do is really key here because if you don't and you just show up without a plan, expect that date to be awkward. Expect that date to not be that fun. And a lot of times when I'm talking about a 
plan, guys think, okay, well, we have to always be doing something. That's true and that's kind of not true. A date involves a lot of talking, so I would just have a general idea of what you want to talk about with her on the date. Maybe some questions you want to ask her. You don't have to print out a huge list like some people do. Um, but yeah, just let the conversation flow naturally. If you're wondering about how to do that, I have other, other videos that talk about how to make the conversation flow naturally with somebody. Generally, when I walk in on a date, I usually have a few things that I want to get to know about them. So I'm, I'm more curious about this person than I am about like, okay, this person has to meet this, meet this, this, this criteria. Step number four is to have fun, okay? You guys have already done your due diligence, you've set it up properly, you've not framed it as a date, and then on top of that, you've basically had a plan or like a basic framework of what you wanna do. At that point, you just have to sit back, relax, and have a good time with the person. You know, Hopefully you've picked something that you like doing. I notice a big problem that a lot of guys have is they pick something that they know the girl is gonna like but they actually don't like. Uh, that's a huge mistake, don't do that. You wanna pick something that you have fun doing as well too. That way, even if you've done all your due diligence and she somehow sucks, <laughs> you still have something fun to do. That's what makes a really good date, is having fun with somebody. And look, dude, if you've set this up correctly, that gives you the freedom and relaxation to be able to just kind of get to know the person, just hang out with them and do that fun activity or whatever it is that you're doing, okay? This is why I don't have bad dates because every single time I've framed it so I can have fun with this person, so I can have a good time. Um, and if you haven't framed it as that, if you're not having fun, then you're probably not doing dating correctly. Uh, too many people go around and constantly frustrated with expectations and you know all of these things that, that are involved and it just doesn't make dating fun and it doesn't make for a good date experience. You know, you're not gonna make a good impression on someone if you're not showing that fun side of yourself. Remember, the most attractive side of yourself is the fun side of yourself. So if you're having fun, you're probably making a good impression. And the last one, step five, is hey, if you had fun with this person, you did everything correctly, follow up, all right? Let her know what a great time you had. Check in on her to make sure she got home okay. Text her the next day. If you had a good time and maybe you had some sexy time, you probably should message her the next day, otherwise you're being a dick. So if you do this correctly, uh, she's probably gonna wanna see you again. Now let's say you don't wanna see this person again. I still think that you should follow up with them. You know, just ghosting somebody after you guys had a good time together is not the nicest thing to do. You know, you wanna text that person and let her know that you're still thinking about her, even if it wasn't the best thoughts. Um, you don't have to say that exactly, but let her know where you stand. Let her know what you're looking for so she doesn't get her hopes up for another date and then you know you guys get continually disappointed or you lie to her um, I, I think that guys come that come in with the wrong intentions or that give the wrong impression to something or what causes the most frustration with women and what probably causes the most frustration with you is if you think a girl thinks something maybe you think she really likes you when in fact she has other plans and so just avoid that situation the energy you put out into the world is the energy you're gonna get back uh, so just be real and upfront with people and a lot of times you'd be surprised I'm not the type of guy who is typically monogamous and you know when I tell people that, a lot of times people think they're, everyone's going to be caught aback and they're not going to be down for that. <laughs> it's, it's actually more often the opposite. They're usually very thankful that I'm upfront and honest with them. And you can still have some sort of a relationship. It's just going to be a little bit of a different one uh, than it is for most people. So if you're that type of guy who thinks he needs to lie or deceive, um, you're probably not going to have a good time and this will ruin the overall dating experience for you, even if you do everything right up until this point. After that fifth step, that's all that I have for you guys. So uh, yeah, if you made it to the end, consider subscribing. Um, and guys, like I said, if you're not having fun while you're dating, you're probably doing it wrong. So this is what I teach guys in my programs every single day. If you want to get signed up for some free trainings, there's some links down below. I'd sign up for my newsletter list where you can get a look and uh, see when I'm going to be doing another free training. And uh, I hope to see you all there. Thanks a lot and good luck out there.